Hello, I'm Artifacts of Mars. And a Russian businessman wants to launch a colony in space. Problem is, nobody can figure out how get people get along. There are people from 217 different countries. The colony, hypothetically, would be called Asgardia. That's named after the Norse alien, I mean God, Odin and his bunch. Asgard, where they live, or whatever. It's tough enough to create a nation in space, and then there's the Earth orbiting colony, the plan, provision, provisioning, figure out, and the technical challenge of launching thousands of people. Actually, they had 100,000 people sign up for it, or 200,000 or something. Huge number. Scale of human task is dawning on Russian businessman and scientist Igor Unpronounceable, who last year drew headlines with his plan for a peaceful democratic utopia dubbed Asgardia about the stratosphere. When I start talking about utopia, I just cringe. I don't think humans are really capable of that, to be honest with you. Uh, more than 300,000 people from 217 countries and territories signed up online to be as guardians, among them starry eyed dreamers, sci fi fans, and political idealists, meaning liberals, and 110,000 of them are now officially citizens. While well, Dr. Unpronounceable's lofty plan involves launching space arcs into lore lower Earth orbit by 2025, he has found himself caught up in earthly debates among his people about pesky details such as the space stations, space nation's constitution, political potential taxes. So, we're going to start taxing them as soon as they get them up there, not to mention the prospective shortage of women. Among problems facing Asgardia, the biggest is self-organization, said Dr. Unpronounceable 53, because no one has ever tried organizing what is today 100,000 citizens from 200 countries who don't know each other and live in different places on the earth. Yeah, that's going to be an issue. It's going to be a real tower babble. That's a babble, not babble. Uh, Dr. Unpronounceable based in Moscow has few details about how Asgardia, named after Asgard, the godly realm of North mythology, North mythology will be built, launched, and run. Specifics were designed by the nation's parliament. Mm, you're gonna have to do a little planning here, boss. Our one mission, guarding in space threats like asteroids. My plan task is to defend Earth and defend humanity, said Dr. Unpronounceable in the phone interview, nothing more. Really? But you said you wanted to create a utopia, which is it? Is this a military thing, or is it what you uh, liberals consider to be utopia? More or less off the Soviet trained engineer wants the United Nations to recognize Asgardia as a country plans to establish government, online device flag, anthem, and currency. Initially, citizens will get some data in the space on satellite he plans to launch from the U.S. this fall. Dr. Unpronounceable, I'm just going to call him Dr. A, owns an industrial company values at $200 million. It's just a he's deadly serious. He's a sole founder and pays about 50 people to manage his guardians. His plan is to pay for launches through crowdfunding. Others are skeptical of the project's success. Uh, yeah, there are a few of us. And the initiators don't have any idea what they're doing, legally speaking, so the space law professor, Franz von der Dunk of the University of Nebraska Lincoln. And Earthbound as Guardians, it turns out, are a fractious lot. Well, what do you think? Half our countries are at, the other half of 
other countries' throats all the time. We're at each other's throats all the time. You think that's going to stop? You put them up there? It's one thing. Okay. It's one thing for the United States and the Russians and maybe a few others to work together on the International Space Station. They're all scientists and astronauts. I get that. But in the case of the Russians, they're cosmonauts. Well, that's splitting hairs. Um, you're putting these people on board there. Some orbiting paradise, as you call it. It's not going to be long before they're fighting. Uh, we are a warrior race. Humans are a warrior race. We're basically the same thing as the Klingons. On Star Trek, believe it or not. That's what we are. We're actually the Klingons on Star Trek. In a sense. Even though we don't run around in body armor all the time. Except they're cops. And they're military. Oh well. Let them dream. It's not my money they're spending, so I don't care. It's not going to work. As humans haven't learned how to get get along together, and we're getting ready to blow ourselves off the face of the map if we're not careful. If we can't uh, stop this uh, North Korea-China situation, we're screwed. Then you have automated weapons that scare the tar out of me. Not one dream. I don't mind dreaming. What will I do it with Mars Station? Thanks for watching.